Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah Imam Sheikh Saleh Al-Fawzan Hafadhullahu ta'ala mentioned something O du'at of Islam focused on Tawheed So this is a very important Speech if you will A call for those who call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those du'at, those people who are students of knowledge and people who are active in da'wah in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remind where the assass is. And this is the assass, the foundation of Salafiyyah. This is the foundation of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah. This is the foundation of Ahl Hadith. And this is the foundation of what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam intended <coughs> intended for us to uh, do for those who are in a role of calling to Tawheed and calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that is the focus of the call. So Shaykh Salim bin Fuzan, Hafidullah ta'ala, he said, this is what is obligatory for the du'at callers to proceed upon in their call, that they should focus upon warning against shirk and calling to Tawheed before everything. Otherwise, their call will not be upon the menhaj of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah sent the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with warning against shirk and calling the Tawheed. So it is essential to lay this foundation down first of all. After that, the person can direct his attention to the rest of the matters, since matters will not be correct and sound except with the presence of Tawheed. If all of the people were to abandon zina, meaning fornication, intoxicants, stealing, and they took on every virtuous quality from deeds and behavior, but did not abandon shirk. There would be no benefit in these matters, and it would not benefit them. Whereas if the people were to remain free of shirk, but had major sins less than shirk, then there is hope for such a person that Allah will either forgive him or punish him in accordance with the level of his sins. But his final destination will be to paradise because he is a person of Tawheed, meaning Islamic monotheism. Tawheed is the fundamental basis and foundation. There is no salvation except with the presence of Tawheed. Firstly, therefore, if uh, therefore it is, an obli it is obligatory to concentrate and always give attention to it and call the people to it and to teach it to the people and to explain it to them what is the meaning of Tawheed and what is the meaning of Shirk the Muslim must be aware of this matter and attain certainty concerning it. He should check himself so that he does not fall into anything from shirk or infringe or meaning violate Tawheed. This matter is essential and the du'at or the da'wah must proceed upon this basis. And this was uh, translated by our brother Abu Talha Dawood Burbank. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.